knockout. What just happened? 184 pass for Torbjorn Madsen. And here comes Snake Bone. This is Wadile Halongwa. We met him, of course, on TF1. Unfortunately, he takes the loss there, but since he has been an official action, professional action, undefeated. Umzwan Dile is, man, he's a tough dude to deal with. Super strong, super hard to push around, and he hits like a truck. Yeah, he's got amazing knockout power. I mean, guys in the gym, a junkyard MMA training with 30% out there in Boxburg, east of Johannesburg, say they've never ever sparred with someone who hits as hard as he has. He's got devastating body kicks and just he's just a rib breaker through and through. Great KO power. Actually got a lot of experience. I mean, I know he lost to Batamaga at the TF1, but boy, a fantastic fighter. He's in the Adidas prep zone. Get all your Adidas combat sports gear now from SATsports.co.za. And this is a guy that I thought of originally was a little one-dimensional, and I was kind of worried, you know, how far can he get in this division? And let's look up and down here. Obviously, you know, the Gordon Runman fight goes to no contest. He gets the Mark Combo, who Mark Combo was hurting people early on in his career. So that was a tough fight to be introduced to. Robert Swanepoel, he dispatches that pretty easily. And then Roy Lacolo comes in with a bunch of hype. Yeah. Thomas Wandili completely derailed, derailed that, that bad, yeah. man. He's never been to the third round in his entire professional career. And like you said tonight, someone's O has to go in this fight. And Zwandile said it's not going to be him. He's going to come and knock out his opponent in the first round. That's what he says. I mean, he's got all these first round TKOs. I mean, his last fight, we talk about him possibly being one dimensional as a striker and a superb kickbox. His last, uh, his last fight was a, was a verbal submission. Well, we talked about derailing hype trains. There is some international hype behind this young man, Torbjorn Madsen, fighting out of Bergen Grappling, Bergen, Norway. And I know right now, I'm gonna say hello to you. There's a lot of Norwegian fans watching right now. We're on, on their networks, EFC is. Everybody watching this man, Torbjorn. He is the great Norwegian hope. Can he get it done? Is, is he the hope or is he just the hype? No, he's definitely a hope. He's undefeated. He's a fantastic prospect. Fighting out of the Bergen Grappling uh, Club out there in Norway. And boy, we know that Scandinavian MMA is, is on a big growth path. But unfortunately, Norway has not always been a part of the conversation. And that's undeserved. It really should be. We've got some amazing wrestlers coming out there, particularly from Bergen Grappling. There's a really good MMA scene coming out of Oslo at the moment. And this guy is at the forefront of it. He's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. He really should be a brown, but he's got a great top game. Beautiful wrestling. Wonderful BJJ, but also also good, dirty boxer. He's great in the clinch. And a fantastic guy. He used to be a, a, a chef at three-star Michelin restaurants. He's a clinical psychologist. I mean, wow, yeah. He's amazing amazing guy and he's a real good pinup poster boy for the sport 100 i can't agree with you more a guy that really fits the bill uh really carries the promotion uh in a great way a great ambassador for the efc and we're glad to have him now and now three rounds in the efc middleweight division introducing first fighting out of the red corner a mixed martial artist undefeated. Three wins, zero defeats, one no contest. 75 foot 11 inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Foxburg, South Africa. I give you Umswan Dile, Snake Bone, Klongwa. And now his opponent standing across the hexagon, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist with an undefeated record of five wins, zero defeats. Steady six foot one inch tall, weighing in at 184 pounds, fighting out of Bergen, Norway. Make some noise for Torbjorn Madsen! <laughs> Your referee when the action begins is Vickis Swart. The beautiful Lissetti joining us this evening at Grand West in Cape Town. Girls are looking forward to a fight. Hey, they're themselves. having a good time. They may they may throw down right there in the chairs. I have that finished in the I'd first watch. round. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blink, folks. This fight is gonna be an absolute cracker. It's a good one. Torbjorn Madsen. And that man is Snake Bone. I call him Snake Busy. That's how tight we are. Round one. Brought to you by Dragon Energy. The power is yours. Torbjorn not wasting any time in the black. 
in the red. Mzwandile Longwa. Mzwandile's got some nice counters, though. Yes, he does. Those straight rights are nasty. Torbjorn, though, is going to test him. He is playing the aggressor. And he gonna, wants a takedown. He does want a takedown. He wants to clinch up and sweep. Not going to be easy to do, man. You're talking about just like a brick wall, these Halongwa brothers. Yeah, he's got good takedown defense, but man, Torbjorn Madsen has some superb sweeps, some great leg sweeps, and wonderful hip throws. I mean, he is primed on taking his opponent down to the ground as soon as possible, and he does. Oh, no, he does up. not. Hey, a little, a little, a little premature there, Stevens. <laughs> Longwa does not go down. Out. Ooh, bad leg kick as well. Tobio Madison just smiles it off. Oh, Perfect right shot. back at you. Let's trade him. Kick for kick. There's that kick again. Do not count out the Halongwa brothers. These guys are legit. Umzwandile has been a little bit more successful than his brother. Yep. Both these guys. Oh, oh fantastic spinning back oh elbow. My God. What a knockout. What just happened? What just happened? Madsen is completely out. Whoa! Probably the greatest knockout we've seen this year in the oh history of the EFC. my God! What a spinning back Did elbow. he just put in a cheat code? Absolutely. What was that? That was phenomenal. This isn't Street Fighter. This isn't Tekken. That was incredible! Snake Bro, you monster! A spinning oh. back elbow from hell. I don't think we've ever seen a knockout in an EFC like that. Have you ever seen a, a knockout like that in your history of sports commentating, Cyrus Fees? That just beat the Elaine Alunga kick. That just beat it. It's out. It's gone. I love you, Elaine. But that was the dopest knockout I have ever seen in EFC history. Give me 17 replays, please. One, two. Oh, that was a massive shot. Set it up with a punch, and he fell down like a little piece of lumber. One it more was, time. It was the right that followed up with a spinning elbow, and it landed just plumb on the side of Madsen's head. One more. Give me another one. That connected perfectly. I think you can ask for a better spinning back elbow than that. It was just a left and then a spin around and using all the momentum of the spin and the back end of the elbow right on the side of Madsen's head. And the Norwegian is completely out for the count. An absolute phenomenal knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vika Swartik called a stop to the contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number one. Your winner by way of knockout, Upswan Dile, Snake Bone, Longwa!